All right, hey YouTube, we're up in the kitchen today. Hopefully this will be a quick video, but uh, ran across something maybe interesting. We got to figure out the problem here, but um, I got my hands on on some of these things, the C64 cupcake cart. You can run a, a 64K ROM and load a bunch of stuff on it. Um, we won't get into how to do any of that yet, but I built up this card. I, I programmed this chip with one of my favorite games and uh, got nothing, got a black screen. So I'm like, oh, geez, give me a break. So I burnt the sample ROM file that the designer of this cartridge made, plugged it in here. Same thing. So this is a, a 64C. Uh, this one is all bone stock, original MOS chips, including the PLA, which is what we're going to get to here. And you turn it on, and you get a black screen, just like a dead PLA. And here, just to show you this machine does actually work, we'll fire him up. Yeah, and, and he runs like a champ, right? Uh, this machine runs flawlessly. It runs really well. So I thought, all right, maybe there's something weird going on with that machine. I broke out another one of my bread bins. And this one, slightly modified, you know, just your uh, modulator and, and VIC stuff and an arm SID, still has an original MOS PLA. And I plugged him all in, and I got the same junk. Nothing but... A black screen. There again, it, it smells like the PLA doesn't work right, but these machines pass diagnostics, they run for hours, I do everything else with them, and they're just perfectly happy, fine, and well. So I thought, now both of these are 466 boards, I thought, is it a 466 board issue? Which, I know it's a long shot, so I got out my trusty 60 clone here, built on a 466 board, plugged everything in, fired them right up, and you give them a second to boot, and you get the cupcake cart. Runs just fine. Big difference here, this has, I wonder if you can see that. Yeah, kind of, sort of, but this has a GAL PLA in it. So now I'm starting to think, all right, the, one of these aftermarket PLAs actually does something that none of the old ones did, which I didn't even think that was possible, but maybe so. So I got one more machine here. Where'd I stick them? All right, here he is. This is my favorite 64, only because this was mine when I was a kid. So this is my original machine. Uh, it took a lightning hit at one point. We sent it for repair. And uh, so this one has a Signetics uh, 82S100 PLA in it. And I want to say that this one's going to work too. And there we go, the cupcake cart. So, are all my MOS PLAs bad? You know, the original MOS PLAs that I have in these two machines? Which, let's face it, we should probably send all those chips back to hell where they belong. Or, do I just have two individual PLAs that are borderline bad and they're just on their way out? So, I'm kind of curious, is this cupcake cart supposed to work with the original MOS PLA or not? Uh, if not, uh, I'm going to go on a personal mission just to uh, find every MOS PLA there is and kill them. But uh, Anyway, I'd appreciate any input if anybody knows anything about these carts interopping with the original MOS PLAs. Thanks. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this.